Yeah, and let me unpack it a little bit over the last few weeks. I was at that practice on Sunday where they had Dalvin after he came on Good Morning Football on Friday, and Dalvin was, like, given the keys to the castle yeah. uh, at One Jets Way. He was walking all around, and the owners, Christopher and Woody Johnson, were basically his chaperones. And I was like, that's really odd mm -hmm. that this is a veteran free agent who might go to the Miami Dolphins, and yet he's been given all access. And the reason for that was they wanted him to get a vibe of what the Jets are all about this season. Crowd was absolutely going nuts, and Rodgers finishes mm -hmm. the practice with Lazard hitting a touchdown in the end. The place is going wild. And it's like, how do you walk out of there not wanting to be a mm -hmm. New York Jet? It was almost like their best day going forward. I think the money had to be right, and the money's a lot. Mm -hmm. That's $7 million guaranteed, 8.6 million it hits it but you know what when Aaron Rodgers gave back some of that money it was oh. for reasons like this that there was an extra bit of cash to go around in the pot and now the Jets add a player to what was already a really good running backs room can we see the running backs take a look that the New York Jets are breaking out here this doesn't mean it's just going to be Dalvin and that Brees is her they go deep. Bam Knight had 100-yard games last year. Mm -hmm. That first name on the second quarter, Izzy, uh, he, he's a rookie that they're really high on. Michael Carter is a very good running back. We love Michael. This is not going to just be the Dalvin Cook show. He's going to share carries with other players. What about the Mario Crockett? I like the Mario Crockett. We got Crockett. Crockett in there, too. He had a couple of plays. Is Zach Crockett's relative? Yeah, I don't know if any relation okay. to Zach Crockett. Right. But go on. I would add, uh, you know, with the Jets, this was a nice to have. It wasn't a need to have. It's a luxury. Yeah. The money is a lot. Again, like the amount of texts I got around the league saying like the Jets like feel like they're they're going wild right now. But you know what? They had it because of the Rodgers thing. Uh, I would just go back to the same. You have to add as many weapons as possible in the AFC this year. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. The Jets are all in. Like 39-year-old <laughs> quarterback, 28-year-old running back coming off an injury. He's not even ready to practice right now. They're waiting another week till he gets on the field. They are all in, and I don't think this was a, okay, Dalvin puts one over the top. This was, we already feel pretty good about yeah. our team. Again, the Brees Hall thing, I still think he's on track for week one. And I'll say that I think I still think But that's now maybe feeling. if he isn't. But now if he isn't, there's a little security with Dalvin Cook. So Pretty good. I like it. The money's a lot, but I don't know if there's an offensive tackle that's going to be there for $8 million. Why not bring yeah. in Dalvin, and we'll go from uh -huh. there. I love how you called it a luxury. It's almost like you've been saving up, renting places, and you found your dream home, but you're like, do we really want to go all in and get all the bells and whistles? Yes. And the Jets were like, no, we're going to add a wine cellar. We're going to put an outdoor <laughs> pool. We're going to make it a smart home. We're going to put speakers all in the ceiling. They added everything they possibly can with now adding Dalvin Cook to an already stacked roster, especially offensively when we talked about Garrett Wilson, Alan Lazar coming over. Corey Davis is still there. Nicole Hardman they signed as well. You forget about everybody that they've built on that offense, but you brought up that backfield, and I look at the top two names, Dalvin Cook and Brees Hall, uh, what they can possibly do in this offense and the big plays that they can have and they can make on any given Sunday. I look at the offensive coordinator, Nathaniel Hackett. The last time he was with Rodgers as his offensive coordinator in 2021, both running backs in that backfield, Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon, both had over 1,100 yards from scrimmage that, that season, rushing and receiving. Now you have Brees Hall and Dalvin Cook. I just think about the most the impact they can have on this offense and Aaron Rodgers at 39 being able to hand the ball off or just throw out a quick screen or throw the ball out fast to one of these running backs in the open field and watch them just go to work. Both of these guys are capable of big plays, those 30, 40, 50 plus yard runs and it's going to be exciting as hell to watch in the New York Jets backfield, especially in the AFC East that is loaded with a lot of weapons. It really is. I just think it's reached, we reached this point where it's very, very difficult to continue being a skeptic and or a hater of the Jets. Even if you're someone who was born and raised in Buffalo or you're a Patriots fan who has laughed at the Jets for your entire life you've been doing this thing where you know okay if you want to say Rodgers he's washed you know, it's not going to go well the personality won't mesh if you want to say uh, those two rookies were flashes in the pan they're going to get exposed Salah's over his head you've had these lists of explanations yeah. like, aren't you running out aren't you isn't it finally time to say like damn the Jets are going to be tough like the Jets are going to be tough you know it, we we had our shot and now the Jets are real they added Dalvin like Dalvin Cook is a really good player that is not a super huge priority for them. He's, like, also featuring Dalvin Cook with occasional cameos and big games. Dalvin Cook has uh, gone into Lambeau Field against amazing Packers teams and torched them. He's won on the playoffs. He was part of the biggest comeback in NFL history. He's been in big games and made huge runs, and they need some of that. I also am with you guys that... 
Did they really need Dalvin Cook? Maybe not. And that's what's so cool about it, Jason. It's a luxury yeah. item. It's just this stupid thing that you get because you might want it. It's I, I, I actually have them in like they're they're about to set on a road trip. They're about to drive uh -huh. cross country, and the car is all packed up, and there's luggage on the top, and there's bungee cords, and they're everything, and they're pulling out of the driveway, and they're like. Should we bring the camping equipment? <laughs> I don't think we're going to camp, but if we wanted, we'd like to have the... And they pull back in and go and get their very expensive camping equipment and put it in. That car is loaded. There's nothing... It's like, let's start the season. Let's go. I don't know what else we need yeah. other than for guys to heal and gel, but... Big Joe Douglas is kind of that Howie Roseman thing where he's like, it's Cohiba time. Light that cigar. Like, your job is done, man. People are paid. People are here. Now play the football. And by the way, that road trip, that car, that they're, it's a diesel engine, apparently, because the New York Post went uh -oh. with this. Vin Diesel, okay. apostrophe Vin for Dalvin and Diesel. And apparently now for the Jets, Dalvin is family. What's it's on the front family. cover of the New York Post this week? Uh, <sighs> uh, we have the President of the United States on a bicycle, Peter. <laughs> and by the way, it appears he's wearing an Eagles shirt. I, 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 I don't, yeah, I, Delco yeah. guy. Yeah, I don't know why he's doing that, but I'm sure there's something about his son. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Vin Diesel. And that's what they're calling him. He's not a New York Jet. <laughs> Your turn, Jamie. When I saw that headline come across yesterday, it made me immediately stress for the Miami Dolphins. Like I was just like, man, they would have been. It would have been even more convincing that the AFC East was like a runaway, the toughest division. Yeah. But when Dalvin goes to the Jets instead, I feel stressed for the Dolphins and how they are going to battle in this division because for Zeke to go to the Patriots, the Bills, the Bills, this just made the Jets an absolute juggernaut. I also thought this feels like a mutually beneficial thing for. Not even a group beneficial because you've got Dalvin Cook coming in who now gets to share the carries and the yards and the tread on his tires with the Brees Hall. Yeah. If I'm Brees Hall, I'm thrilled. This gives me hopefully more longevity to my career. When Dalvin was here back on July 28th, he said something like, I want to be around Aaron Rodgers. He's a four-time MVP. You want to be around somebody like that to pick his brain. But mm. if I'm Brees Hall or if I'm Bam Knight, I want to be around sure. Dalvin to pick his brain. I know that Dalvin and Alexander Madison had that relationship. Dalvin made yeah. Madison better with the Vikings. So Dalvin is that kind of player. Peter, I'm curious. Why do you think Dalvin Cook was never attached to, like, the, oh, he's definitely going to want a two-year deal kind of mm. thing? Like, why did it seem so seamless that he just accepted one year, 8.6? I think, I think the timing, actually, the, the years on the contract are would have been great if they gave him a two-year deal. But I think the timing with this one was when Zeke signed his deal earlier in the day and we had a bar. Mm. And now Dalvin's like, all right, I was offered something that's more than Zeke. Mm. I'm looking at the landscape right now. It's already mid-August. It makes a lot of sense for it is. $7 million plus incentives to get yeah. to eight point six. And what's interesting is that that contract is the highest contract of any free agent running back this offseason. Yeah. And that happened on August 15th. It's hard out there for a back. It is, but it also, for a guy like that, hey, eight million at this point in the game when Kareem Hunt and these other guys are like, what do we got? Market um, is it, yeah. I think it's good money for him. And to your point, he could hit it again next year if he has a big year. I think it was funny that the Patriots had like 20 minutes to be like, hey, we got Zeke, we got Zeke. And the Jets were like, yeah. we got Dalvin Cook. Yeah. Dalvin Cook's really good. I don't know. So good.